A couple of years ago, I was caught hold of a question in my consciousness that I couldn't let go of. The question was, what if I only had six months left to live? Then what would I do? And the answer that I came up with was I need to share whatever I have learned in my life because I know that it'll help others who had been struggling with the same kinds of things that I've been struggling with or who have the same kinds of questions and haven't had the years of working it out uh, that created the kinds of insights and openings in my life that, that those answers uh, gave me. Um, and you know what? You have the same kind of urgency, in my opinion, because none of us know how long we have left to live. Uh, recently, I was just watching a lecture on YouTube by Randy Pausch. Uh, he was a professor, well-known professor. He is well known for uh, a book called The Last Lecture. It's also a series of YouTube videos. And it's the last lecture, it's a series, last, last lecture series, because he was diagnosed with, I think it was pancreatic cancer and was given uh, only a few months left to live. And so he decided to teach the best of what he knew uh, openly. And maybe that story inspired me. I don't know what it was that got me to, to ask that question for myself, but the reality is I'm, I'm here to encourage you to be with that question for yourself. If you, you know, pass away, um, you are leaving the world um, without all of the experiences and wisdom that you've had, unless you've put it out there. And many, many of you have not put it out there. And once you start creating and sharing your wisdom, you're going to discover that you have much more within you than you realized. And that is why I encourage you to develop an urgency for content creation and distribution, an urgency to share your message, an urgency to make sure that the world isn't left without the benefit of your life experiences. Um, and I, there's a couple of blocks that are keeping you from, from doing that, probably, from those of you who, who aren't doing that yet. And the blocks that I often hear about is, well, George, I want to do that, but I haven't yet clarified my niche. I haven't yet figured out who my ideal audience is. So until I figure that out, I'm going to keep it all in, inside. Okay. Do, do you think death is going to wait for you to figure out your niche? <laughs> okay. Or your ideal audience? No, death can come at any time. Now, I'm not saying that to be, to scare you or to, uh, to think in that kind of negative mindset, but it is a proven um, sort of technique, spiritual technique, you know, that from Stoicism, but, but really any, any religion, Buddhism, Christianity, any religion, is that death can come at any time. Life is incredibly precious Every day is precious and you ought to be giving as much as you can while you're here. And today in our modern times with the ease of the internet, the most we can give, the most benefit and the greatest uh, gift you can give to humanity is the benefit of your life experiences so that others don't have to struggle for as long of a time as you did or others don't have to you know, be going through the motions and living a, a shallow life in whatever area that you help people with that you can share with them to help them live a deeper, more fulfilling, more joyous, uh, more alive life. So that is the most you can give in this life. It's not money. Uh, it's not necessarily even helping one person at a time. And those are, those are very valuable too. But when you put your content on the internet, it can help not just one person, but it can change the lives of a hundred people or a thousand people or more. And of course, given that I am a business guide, it also helps your business to get your message and your presence out there as soon as possible before 
you have clarified your niche before you understand who your ideal clients are. Let me tell you a secret. I don't even quite know what my niche, if you, if you ask me today, George, quickly, 20 seconds, what's your niche and what's your ideal client? I think I would have a harder time saying it than my own clients would because I train my clients to say these kinds of things. But I, you know, I don't, uh, and I train my clients who, to say these kinds of things only after I've trained them to be consistent with creating content because that's number one, okay? Your niche and your ideal audience should, in my opinion, okay, again, my opinion is probably different from the opinions of many marketing experts, including some of my uh, friends that I highly respect for their marketing advice. But my opinion is that your niche and your ideal audience ought to emerge organically. First, create content. Then you will get clarity. It's that order. Okay, so some people might say, well, George, I don't have my website yet. I don't have my social media profile set up yet. I don't have the right image on my Facebook page and it really bugs me. And until I get the right image, I'm not gonna put my stuff out there. You, you might, this might be true. You might be using that as an excuse because creating content is uncomfortable. Right now I'm uncomfortable, or I should say, before I started this video, I was uncomfortable because as you may have heard me say before, if you've watched any of my videos, I never feel like starting these videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, of course, now that I'm in it, I'm okay with it and, I, and I, I'm even enjoying it. And afterwards I'll feel really good about it. See, that's when, that's when I know I've done something good, that I've done something that is on purpose, is, is that, because what is, in my opinion, the purpose of life is not enjoyment or happiness or pleasure or fulfilling your desires. I think the purpose of life is to grow your character, is to become more wise, courageous, and loving, okay? And growing is uncomfortable. Growing means stretching beyond what you're already doing. So stretching beyond what you're already doing is not comfortable, but once you do it, it feels good, right? So that's when you know you're on purpose, is that you're, you're doing something uncomfortable, but afterwards you feel really good that you've done it. Versus, right, the opposite is temptations, right, are things that are really easy to do and they feel really good when you're doing it, but afterwards you feel badly that you did it because you knew it was bad for your health or bad for your, you know, whatever, bad for how you spent your time or, or whatever it may be, right? So I know creating content is purposeful because I don't feel, I don't feel like writing. I never feel like writing. The article that I wrote to you related to this, uh, you can see it in the notes of the video. I didn't feel like writing it, but I knew that it would help you. And I knew that it would help me, right? I knew it would help both of us. So I wrote in the first 15 to 30 minutes, I was not comfortable. I was like, ah, I don't know what to say. I don't really have anything to say. I don't, I'm confused. I'm frustrated. But of course I've learned now to work to transform those feelings into feelings of calm focus and joy and all that stuff right that's practice that i've pr practiced over years which i recommend that you practice starting today so uncomfortable writing is true for me all the time uh, in the, at least in the first 15 to 30 minutes of a piece uh, uncomfortable with getting on video at least for the first five minutes i'm uncomfortable but then afterwards i feel really good i feel like okay yes i've gotten that message out there it might help somebody now Okay, it might even change somebody's life at some point. Uh, or, or, oh, now I've gotten the written piece out there. It, it's going to be found by somebody and it might really help them. So you don't know when you're going to die. And also, <laughs> you don't know when you're going to have the clarity of your niche and your, and your ideal audience. Let it emerge organically. It should become obvious to you over time what your niche is, what your ideal audience is. But you don't have to work so damn hard to try to figure it out. You need to start creating content today. You need to start creating it yesterday, but do it today and tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. And if you don't want to do it every week because you have a full-time job, et cetera, et cetera, then do it once a week, okay? I'm giving you a minimum of one article a week or one video a week, or try to do both. Try to do both one article and one video a week as a minimum. 
even if you have a full-time job, that's really, even if you have a full-time job and you're caretaking for your elderly parents and you have three young kids, you should still be able to do one article and one video a week. That's it. Simple. Okay. It doesn't have to be long. It could be a few hundred words, just two to 300 words. The video can be three minutes or one minute. If it's all you have between, you know, breastfeeding your three kids, right? You have one minute and then good, you know, I'm, I'm being facetious. I don't think anybody has all three responsibilities. You, you probably have one or, or two or three. Um, so one a week is a minimum, but have an urgency for it. I don't know when I'm going to die. And also, I don't know when I'm going to ever find my niche and, and figure out my ideal audience. And I don't know when my websites are ever going to be perfect. My website is far from perfect. I, I look at my website, I'm like, dang, that's you know, got to change it by a lot. It's not good. My website's not good. I mean, to be honest with you, especially as a marketing guy, my website sucks, but I've had a sucky website for 10 years. I, I had a sucky website. The first version was sucky 10 years ago. And when I changed it five years ago, it's still, it's still crappy. So it doesn't matter. I have a six figure business. I make lots of money compared to most people in my field. You know, so does, you can make lots of money even with a crappy website and social media profile, just forget about it. Just put something up really, just have a black image. I, I don't care have no image, but create content because content is what creates clarity, right? Content gets you the clarity about what you're really about, about your calling, about who your ideal audience is, because you're going to start to see who's going to engage with you, who's engaging with your stuff, okay? You study who's engaging with your stuff and you start to see, okay, among these 10 people who are engaging, who do I really can imagine serving well the most? Okay, that's probably your ideal audience, right? Content leads to clarity. It's not the other way around. Don't worry about your website. Stop building your website if you're not already doing your content consistently. Where do you do your content? Anywhere on social media that you can start for free. A Facebook business page is free to start, okay? Or, or put it on your Facebook profile. If you don't know how to do a Facebook business page, that's fine. Just you have a Facebook profile. Start your content there on a regular basis. Eventually you'll have a Facebook page, you'll do it more professionally, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you've got to be sharing whatever you already know, whatever you're already interested, okay? Whatever has been helpful to you. And maybe you've helped some other people already, your friends, your family, maybe even some clients, who, whatever has been helpful to other people that you've said, that you've shared, that you've helped them with, start sharing it urgently, consistently. Do not let a week go by that you don't do it, except for planned vacations. You have, you know, two to three week vacations, a four week vacation, fine. Okay. Or if there's um, a really serious, you know, family emergency, a death in the family, et cetera, of course you can take breaks, but be careful of taking too long of a break or taking too many breaks because you might be using it as an excuse because it's not comfortable. It's not supposed to be comfortable when you're growing. When you're, when, you're, when you're searching within yourself, when you're trying to figure out what your voice is, it's not supposed to be comfortable, but it's supposed to be growing. And you're supposed to feel really good after you've gone through the hard parts of trying to do it. Just try. That's all I'm asking. And just produce, just publish imperfectly. And that's the other thing. What if what I put out there, I change my mind on? Okay, of course. I... This is why I keep my hundreds or by the, I think on my YouTube channel, I think I've only, you can only, I, I had another YouTube channel in the past with a couple hundred videos, but this, this YouTube channel and this Facebook page has a couple hundred videos. That's why I keep them all there. That's why I keep all my writings around since the very beginning, because then you could see my evolution if you actually want to do that. Of course, we're going to change our mind. Of course, what we're going to say is not going to be something we agree with a year down the road. Guess what that's called? Growth. <laughs> that's called evolution. That's called you becoming smarter, wiser, more attuned to what your ideal audience needs, more uh, grounded in reality, whatever you want to call it. But you've got to start now. You've got to put it out there now so that you can help whatever stage you're at. You can absolutely be helping people at your stage and a few steps earlier. Okay, and trust me, you have been thinking about your stuff, your message a lot longer than I have, a lot longer than the people that you can help have. You've been studying it. 
You've been studying it. You've been reading about it. You've been talking about it. You've been learning about it. You've been taking courses. You've been reading books. You've been studying your stuff much more than the people you can help have been studying it. So don't, it's not going to be perfect. Not by any means. I'm still growing every single year. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that last year. But that's growth. And I hope that continues to be the case every year for me forever. It's like, you know, in 2021, I hope I'll come look at this video and go, gosh, I, I wish I would have said that instead because that would have been smarter to say or that would have been more impactful to say, whatever. You see what I mean? So get started today. Post something, 100 words. I don't care how short, how long. I don't care. I don't care the video is 30 seconds long or 30 minutes long. Get started today. There's an urgency to create because that's how you'll find clarity. That's how you'll leave your legacy. That's how you discover your calling. And you don't know how long you have left. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, I'm going to give you a minute to comment below the video while I am looking for the comments from those who are watching my live video. So go ahead and comment below while I look for these comments here. And thank you so much, Shiva and Andy, for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, who else is joining me here? Ida and Lisa, Arturo, and Michelle. And um, let's see here. So Andy says, it's this week marks the beginning of a big content commitment for me. Awesome. Uh, wonderful. Um, Lisa, thank you. And Ida, thank you. And Shiva says, um, yeah, my own self-doubts really hold me back. You're not alone. You're not alone. I have self-doubts too. It's called being human. And it's called being, you know what? I'll, I'll just say this. Self-doubts is like the other side of the coin of humility. It's, it's a good trait, actually. It's good to doubt yourself and to say, well, I don't know everything in the world. And let's add this thought. Yes, you don't know, you know, you don't know the perfect thing to say yet. But what you can say is going to be helpful for someone like you from a year or two or three years ago. Think about yourself from one, two or three years ago. Okay. You've now had one, two or three years of life experience since, since then. And there's lots of people like you from three to one year ago. Whatever you can say now is helpful for them. All right, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing how this inspires you to create content consistently starting today. Take care.